Good morning. I just wanted to share with you guys how, oh look how messy that is, how I'm going to build my smoothie bowl this morning. It took me like two years to try these because I figured they're way too complicated, too much work, but really you need to try them. I'm super addicted to them and they're super filling and it's like dessert for breakfast. So in my blender here, I've got a scoop of Shakeology. This is a half a block of tofu. You could use Greek yogurt. I've got some creamy cashew milk. I'm just putting enough in here to make it kind of like a pudding. I don't want it to be like a shake. I want it to be like a thick pudding. So in here I have cooked steel cut oats. They're warmed up. And what I'm gonna do is blend this up. So I'm gonna pause it for a minute so it's not super loud. And then I'll show you how I build the rest. If you're not into tofu, Greek yogurt would be fantastic in here. So hang tough and I'll show you how I assemble this. Okay, so I've blended up my tofu and my chocolate vegan Shakeology. You could use Greek yogurt as well. So then I've got one full banana here cut up and then I kind of just go to town and make it look fancy and add more fiber. So this is just flax. Um, I usually measure it out in my little orange container. I just don't have it handy, but I kind of can eyeball how much it is. So flax, hemp. I need to grab my chia. So I'm going to put some chia in there too. And I kind of make it look like fancy, right? If you're going to eat something that's healthy, if you make it look fancy and appetizing, it's more satisfying to eat, I think. Cacao nibs. These are packed full of antioxidants. Uh, they are in the vegan chocolate shakeology. That's what gives it its flavor. I got these in Dominican though. Um, and they just, they add like a little crunch and a little bit of sweetness. They're like a very dark chocolate flavor. You could do chocolate chips if you wanted to, just a couple for a treat. But I like the cacao nibs. And then this stuff is... Um, protein almond spread. It's got chia and flax in it and coffee grounds. It looks gross, but it's really good. Got it at the supplement store in here. You could just throw regular peanut butter on top of here. Um, I can't do this one-handed, so I'm just going to grab my chia, put this on, and show you the finished bowl. Okay, so that's the finished bowl. So underneath in there, we've got one yellow of steel cut cooked oats. And I heated those up, cooked them last night, cinnamon uh, and vanilla. So that's in the bottom. And then I layered on two reds. So it was a half a block of tofu or Greek yogurt and my chocolate vegan Shakeology in the blender and poured that on top of the oats. So that's two reds. I eat a big breakfast. It works well for me. Keeps me full because if I have skimp on breakfast, then I'm starving all day and I don't make very good food choices. So I like a big breakfast that's going to keep me full. Then the banana counts as one full, no, two purples. A half a banana is one purple. So I've used up my purples for the day, which is fine because I want to eat a big satisfying breakfast. I don't want to feel ripped off after breakfast. And orange is the chia, the hemp and the flax in here. So that counts as my orange. So I just wanted to show you the container counts guys because that is so super important in reaching your goals. If you're not, if you're just throwing together meals and oh I'm eating healthy which I did for literally years and the scale didn't budge, I was super frustrated, I would work out but I wasn't eating in the right portions and this is a huge breakfast like it's a big bowl, it's two reds um, and that's a lot of people have a lot of trouble getting red in, which is protein. So eating a big protein packed breakfast with some carbs and some fats. Oh, and the this counts as um, a teaspoon um, for your fats. I mean, you can add more if you wanted to, but that's enough for me because I'm going to save some avocado for later, which is your blue container. So it's very important to use these containers, guys. Um, if you don't have them, I highly suggest you get them. Um, the best way to get them is with the all access challenge pack you get all the workouts you get the containers you get a bag of the Shakeology and you're set you're ready to go so if you've got that already awesome good for you you're on your way and if you don't message your coach who invited you to this group because it's a fantastic way to get yourself started and get yourself going and feeling good because you just need to feel good about yourself um, life is short and you need to fuel your body and like this is 
amazing to me. This is like dessert for breakfast. When you're eating these 21 day fixed containers, you're not starving, you're not eating all vegetables all the time, which you need to eat, trust me. But I mean, you can make stuff that tastes good and is satisfying, which is key to sticking to it. So hopefully that helps guys. I am going to dig into this delicious chocolate peanut butter smoothie bowl and I hope you guys have a good day. I'm going to be posting my meal plan. I'll be working on that, on that today or tomorrow, getting some groceries uh, back from Dominican, back on track, back to my routine. So I encourage all of you guys to do the same thing. It's so important to refocus your efforts on the weekend. Even if you had a crappy night last night, drank a bottle of wine or two, whatever, get back on track. You will feel good, I promise. Have a great day and we will talk to you soon. Bye.